So I have to tell you folks, the greater omentum is one of my favorite of the lesser known organs of the body. Let's talk about what is the greater omentum? Well, it takes its name greater. It takes its name from the greater curvature of the stomach. So here's the tongue and here's your gullet here, your, your uh, esophagus coming into the stomach. Now we know the stomach has a big curve here. It's called the greater curvature. So the greater omentum forms along the greater curvature of the stomach. This is the lesser curvature of the stomach and we also have a lesser omentum. So lesser omentum goes from the lesser curvature of the stomach over to the liver, kind of like a, a fatty membrane. And then the greater curvature of the stomach is home to the greater omentum. So what is it? It's like a big blanket and it comes down uh, off of here like so, the greater omentum. I'm drawing it in yellow because it's a fatty apron and it covers everything underneath it. It's floating, uh, it's floating atop your guts basically. So the greater omentum, okay, floats upon, uh, this is a, a Latin word meaning float upon, it, basically it's coming off your greater curvature and floating upon your guts, upon your viscera. So this big beautiful yellow blanket is a snuggle blanket inside of your body. Did you know you had a little snuggle blanket in there? And what does it do? It literally cuddles your organs. Now you're thinking, Gil, that's ridiculous. We don't have an organ that cuddles the other organs. Well, I'm telling you, you have an organ that cuddles the other organs and it's like an anti-inflammatory blanket. So say you had an inflamed stomach. The greater omentum, which has this great free edge, the greater momentum will literally do a backflip and wrap your stomach. I've seen cancerous stomachs wrapped in the greater momentum like a cuddle blanket. I've seen livers with cirrhosis and the greater momentum flips back over and wraps the liver. Uh, it's quite a marvel. Now it's not only connected to the greater curvature of the stomach, it's also connected to the transverse colon, which I've drawn here. So your colon is kind of going around the edges of your abdominal wall here. And where does the greater momentum come from? Like, what is it? Well, the covering of your stomach, the visceral peritoneum, the covering of your stomach kind of expands and prolongs itself two layers front and back. And then two more layers come from the expansion of the visceral peritoneum of the transverse colon so that both organs, the greater curvature of the stomach and the transverse colon are contributing the biological fabric that makes up the greater omentum. So two layers from the stomach, two layers from the transverse colon combine together to form this four layered Huh. migrating blanket. Now, in the old days, we used to have mendicant doctors and the doctor would carry a bag and travel from house to house and make house calls. Well, that's how I also like to think of the greater momentum. Snuggle blanket? Yes. Four layers of peritoneal expansion? Yes. Also, mendicant doctor roaming around your guts, taking care of business, lowering levels of inflammation and inflamed organs. You can think of the greater omentum as a lymphoid organ. Now that means having to do with the lymphatic system. And in fact, there's lots of, of lymphatic tissue in the greater omentum. And it's like, here's one more metaphor for you. It's like a Roomba, you know, those, those little vacuums that go uh, around your home and bump into things and then turn and go and vacuum somewhere else. Well, the greater momentum is kind of like that. It's, it's going around kind of vacuuming up 
whatever might be leaking around out there and drawing it back into the, into the bloodstream, back into the general circulation. So is it a snuggle blanket? Yes. Is it a mendicant doctor? Yes. Is it a, a Roomba? Yes. Is it a lymphoid organ? Yes. Is it something that you should know you have? Well, why not? Isn't it nice to know you have such a blessing inside of your guts doing favors for you all day long without you even knowing it? I think that's really nice to know. And everybody knows they've got a stomach and everybody knows they've got a liver, but not everybody knows they've got a greater momentum. And now you know. So bless your greater momentum. It's a beautiful uh, gift of our human form doing service for us night and day. And uh, it's just something nice to know. We have something that's, uh, that's here uh, giving us comfort and, uh, and greater health. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to study more with me, go to gilheadley.com. There's a ton of stuff there. Enjoy.